Welcome to A True Voice, and this video is going to be a little bit different. I apologize, first of all, for the quality of the video, but I it's like midnight and I really need to go to bed. I, you know, work has been pretty crazy, life in general has been pretty crazy this week, so uh, the good content, edited content and everything will start, will resume pretty much within the next few days, but I really thought that this is something that I needed to address to you guys, especially to the subscribers of the channel as soon as possible. As most of you have already noticed, in the YouTube commu community there is something pretty big going on right now. Um, YouTube has decided to start censoring content and they're using a lot of... Uh, they're using a lot of the small print in the actual terms and conditions to be able to upload videos in their in their own website, which I understand. But in the past, they were very um, they were you know they were able to close their eyes or so don't don't look at the policy um, exactly as it is. But there's channels like Philip DeFranco, Boogie, uh, Twenty Nine Eighty Eight, or even the own PewDiePie, who are pretty much gonna be very affected with what's going on right now. The reason why I'm also recording this video is I just noticed that a few of my videos that I record like a year ago and stuff, I, I noticed that the uh, monetization of the video itself, it kind of went away. Like for some reason, uh, the, the videos were not allowed to be monetized. And I'm talking about, I mean, our channel is like 400 subscribers, which is pretty small, right? If we compare it, if we compare it against like channels that are like millions of subscribers, and, but the reason why I started noticing this is because I, I noticed that these videos had absolutely no, I mean, there was absolutely nothing wrong with them. You know, I didn't have any copyright in the, in the videos. I didn't have any specific music playing on the background that can cause that monetization to go away. But I was, as I was browsing the YouTube today, I noticed that the big YouTubers, um, are saying that any video that con uh, has like a, a strong language, um, mature content, uh, any kind of uh, sexual uh, content or explicit content is pretty much being either uh, unmonetized or not as promoted as it used to be. Well, I am very glad that that's going on, personally. I mean, I think that there's a lot of YouTube channels who are just full of fake drama. And what I mean with fake drama is like, pretty much YouTubers make these uh, clickbaits and they just talk about things that are not even real or, you know, pranks and things like that just to be able to get subscribers and to be able to get views. And let's just be very clear, I don't care who you are, where you live, and what kind of YouTuber you are, something that really pushes you to create new content, to upload every day, and to actually focus and put YouTube as one of your main goals is monetization. Every time a, a, a viewer watches a video or subscribes to a channel, that means that you will put more attention or you will spend more time watching a specific video on YouTube, so you will receive money Pretty much for all those advertisements that you watch while you're watching a video. While I believe that it will fix a lot of problems that YouTube has, uh, on top of my head I cannot remember a couple of YouTubers, but there was this... Uh, man, what's his name? Risegam. Uh, Risegam and there's... Uh, you remember a few, a few uh, weeks ago Risegam made a video with this other dude who apparently he punched him on the face and there was all this drama going on in YouTube. You see, I I'm, I'm kind of glad that YouTube is getting rid of all these things because I think that that's just a bunch of crap. You're creating drama that is not even real. But at the same time, I believe that the way that YouTube is approaching to the, to the problem is by taking the right of freedom of speech. You're pretty much taking away the monetization of videos. That means that most of the YouTubers will not be able to make money, will not be able to, to, to monetize anything from their efforts and from the editing and from the, the, the ideas of developing new content. That means that if you have no motivation, if you have no push to be able to create new videos, YouTubers will just quit. Some YouTubers will stop 
stall flat out their channels and will just move on to do some other stuff. And I think that the, the, the beauty on YouTube was that I, was, I can say whatever I want in whatever shape, way, or form I like it, and everybody in the world will have the right to be able to watch it or see it. Anyway, I just feel that any time that a big organization, especially YouTube, which they can do whatever thing they want with their website, I mean, it, it is their website, um, any time that somebody goes and gets into it and starts making decisions or controlling what people gotta say or how they gotta say it or what they gotta what they're gonna say what they gotta say or you start promoting a specific content above the other pretty much when you start messing with the free of the, the freedom of speech of people I really believe that you know you're crossing a very thin line. You're crossing the line that people like to communicate, people like to, to, to give ideas. For example, this channel is called the True Voice. And the main reason of this channel was to be able to tell you flat out how things are. Like no going around the bushes, no, you know what I mean? Like just not having that agenda that most YouTubers, especially the ones that I'm talking about, have. And that was, that was the main idea and the main goal. While I am being affected a little bit about these changes, I'm not, of course, being affected, like I said, like, like one of those big YouTubers. But what I'm trying to say is we all at some point share and have our own opinion. Now, what YouTube is trying to do is trying to tell you what you got to say in the videos, how you got to say them. And I don't care if people are like, well, you can still say whatever you want. You just will not get paid for those advertisements that the video will show up. Well, I get that. But for how long can a person put eight hours editing a video or creating new content for, for nothing? I mean, you really will get absolutely nothing for it from now on. Anyway, I just felt that I needed to talk to you guys about this specific topic. Uh, even though, like I said, I mean, my, our, this channel only has 400 subscribers, but there's a lot of people that are truly going to be very af affected by it. Some people, you know, that actually this is their living. This is what they do for a living. This is how their income comes in. And, you know, I, you think that YouTube should be smarter than this. I mean, it, it is a Google company, isn't it? Like they should be able to see or foresee these problems that people are already complaining about. What do you guys think though? What is your opinion about it? Do you do you like these changes that they are making? Do you see this as something positive, negative? Um, I mean, you can go to some of your most favorite YouTubers out there, some people that you have already subscribed, people that have like millions of subscribers, and you can see what they have to say about it. I don't think that nothing positive will come out of this. I think that they could have approached the problem of the drama makers in YouTube in a different way. There has to be another way that just taking money away from everyone, including the small YouTuber. You know, I I, I, I don't know. I, I really think that like it's very sad that it's just, I guess, like everything. It's very sad that like because of some some stupid... Uh, people out there, I was going to say something else, but uh, apparently if I do, see, I, I, if, if I say something that is not the way that YouTube likes it, then this video will need, not be as promoted or as monetized as I would like it to be. Anyway, I will appreciate you guys' as your opinion. Just put it in the comment section down there. And again, if you haven't done it yet, subscribe, support the 400 subscribers that we have so far. And you guys have a good night. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Back to you guys later.